going to take another look at the ACS 756 today to answer a couple of questions about its sensitivity to stray magnetic fields, including the Earth's field, uh, with respect to changing orientation. To do that, we need to uh, power it up with a 5-volt supply and then run some current through it from a separate supply. And what we'll do is we will measure all of that uh, and see how it works out. For the first test, we're going to check the eight, try out the ACS 756 with no current running through it. This meter will measure the amperage, and this one measures the output of the ACS 756. So currently, with it in a reasonably steady uh, position, we're getting 2.486 and we'll call it a couple hundred millivolts. If we rotate it, 90 degrees, we get no appreciable change. Clearly down, we get a little bit of noise there, 100 microvolts. If we rotate it, it doesn't look like we get much of a change either. Again, down in the microvolt range, which we can't, can't really count. That's really down in the noise for this device. No matter what orientation, it seems to be pretty stable. You can see a couple hundred microvolts, so it is somewhat sensitive, but again, well within tolerance of the chip. Now let's run some current through it and see if that makes any difference. All right, let's turn it on. And we're running four amps, and you can see the reading change. So far, let's try it out. 64563. 64565. 70. We're still down in the noise. We haven't changed. Uh, we just, wait, we're just almost able to get that one digit to change there, just getting it to change across. Not a, not a real problem. Right. For the next test, we're going to run current directly from a large power supply down through a loop across the top of the ACS 756 and see if that makes any difference as we switch the current on and off. This test might be a little easier to demonstrate if I had three cameras running at once, but uh, no luck. We'll hold the wire down directly across the shunt and measure the current difference as we change the load. What does the 756 say? Oh, it, it's changing again by a couple hundred microvolts with six amps flowing directly across it. Let's turn up the load a little bit. Let's go for 10 amps. With 10 amps running across it, mm. We're only getting a slight change of 46.02.09, So we're getting a decrease of about 400 millivolts, or yeah, 400 millivolts or microvolts. Sorry, we're getting a decrease of about 400 microvolts by turning this on. And of course, it will. Uh, let's see what happens if we put a loop around it. See if we can get a little more reaction from the uh, Hall Effect sensor that way. Hold that all in place. We're at 486.6 with it off. And we're at 2.48520. So we're, we're about one and a half millivolts in change. So that's actually uh, noticeable. All right. This time we are going to go ahead and run some current, uh, in this case, about 4 amps through the Hall Effect sensor, just the way it should be run. And now let's see if we get much of a change by uh, switching on and off a DC load. Let's go with uh, 10 amps across the top of the Hall Effect sensor. Off. And not really seeing much of a change, 646.80 roughly and we turn it on little burst of noise and down to 660 maybe with it with 10 amps for flowing across it so again not really much of a change if we twist it up and make a loop around the Hall effect sensor let's see if we can get a little bit more induction inductance going on there 
All right, 2.64720, and we'll turn it on. 2.64844, so we get, again, 1.2, maybe 1.3 uh, millivolts in change uh, on the output of the ACS-756. So my take on it is uh, the 756 is pretty stable. It is sensitive to external magnetic fields, but really only in the case of uh, putting something right on it. So in that test, we were able to create a uh, statistically meaningful result by running a loop of current at about 10 amps DC around the ACS-756, and that caused its output of the Hall effect sensor to change by one and a half millivolts. But that's, again, quite a bit of interference. The Earth's magnetic field, the change in orientation to that seems pretty minimal, so I'm not going to worry about that at all. Anyway, I hope that answered some questions today.